Hi guys, I hope everyone's had a good week and stuff. Um, I recently went to Paris, so I was just going to fill you guys in on what we did. We left where we are at the Abbey at about 2 o'clock in the morning, so it was pretty early. And then what we did is we took a bus, and then that bus got on a train, and then the train went under the tunnel, you know, like under the channel. Um, but you were like enclosed so you couldn't see anything. Um, it was pretty cool. It was for like, I don't know, 40 minutes. It was a while. Um, it was pretty weird because like you could feel yourself moving but you couldn't see it because like the train was like, it didn't look like it was going anywhere so it made a lot of people nauseous. Um, and then we stopped off to like six cemeteries but since it was so early in the morning and it was foggy so it was really creepy. Um, and then we got to Paris about like 5, 5.30 because we had a lot of traffic. Um, and a group and I, we went to Marimont, which is where Sacre Coeur is. Um, and so you're really high up, so you can look over all of Paris. And it was really cool, and it was nighttime, so like it was all lit up. And you could see um, the Eiffel Tower. Um, and then we took the train back to the hotel. Because it was late, it was already like 11, 12, and we had like a super long day, so we were all tired. And then the next day was Friday, so what we did is um, we walked to Notre Dame. Um, my hotel was about, I don't know, eight blocks from the Eiffel Tower, so like we were right in the middle of everything. So we went to Notre Dame, and we went in and we walked around. Um, and then we went to the Louvre, and we stayed there for a couple hours, that was amazing. Um, and then we like hit some shops and we walked around a bit and then um, we went to the Eiffel Tower and what we did is we walked it. <laughs> it was 668 steps I think. Two, two people in my group, they took the elevator up but that line was so long by the time we had walked it they met us up there. Um, it was really pretty and it was also at night so um, we could see the whole town lit up and every hour on the hour the Eiffel Tower glitters um so it was really pretty we saw it glitter like three times by the time we got there walked up we're there walked down <laughs> um so that was really cool um and of course we got like some crepes and like some baguettes some wine that type of stuff um we stopped back there was a mcdonald's by um the hotel so we would go there for like because everything closes pretty early so we would go at like 12 o'clock at night and like grab a sandwich or a drink or something. Um, and then on Saturday, we got up really early to see the sunrise at the Eiffel Tower, but um, it was cloudy so we didn't get to see the sunrise. But it did get lighter and it was pretty because nobody was there at that hour. So that was really neat. Um, we did like that even though we didn't get to see the sunrise. Um, then we went to Versailles, which is amazing if you're ever like around there, you should definitely hit that. And since we're students, we're students of like Europe, we got into most of these places for free, so we all really like that. Um, and then we tried to hit um, Napoleon's tomb, but we got there like 15 minutes after it closed, so we walked around, but we weren't able to like walk in. Um, and then what did we do? Um, oh, and then we saw the Arc de Triomphe. That was really cool. We didn't go up it because we are also like 15 minutes too late but um I heard like it was beautiful up there so that was a shame but next time I go um we also grabbed dinner over there so we got like chocolate cake and like french food and then Sunday we got up and we had to travel um, we left at like 10 and then we got back to the Abbey like 6.30 so even though we were gone for like four days, we traveled most of two days, so we were really only for Paris for two days. So you kind of need more time than that. But if you guys are like ever over there, definitely like hit those things. And there was so much more that we wanted to do that we didn't get to. But um, next week we're going to Italy. Um, we're going to Venice, Florence, and Rome. And we're already starting to like make our list and get maps and figure out what we want to do. We have um, planes, trains, and hotels booked and everything, so it's going to be really exciting. So I'll fill you guys in on what I do, and I hope everyone's had a good day, and bye!